My name is Big Brother. We live in a house the size of a matchbox. Roaches crawling all too far. Yeah. My name is Alcia. Well, I can't wait to see your face outside my door. Your name is Big I don't have to even do nothing to you. You cause your own country to fall. Yeah. Oh, 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 my name is everybody. You say that you got me all in your notebook, writing it down every day. You say that you love me. Oh, uh, 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 uh. You cause your own country to fall. Good morning, folks. Good morning. How you doing? Good afternoon, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. I thought this was really important because. If you don't live on the East Coast, or if you don't live in New York, I don't see the mainstream media giving um, a lot of coverage of this particular story. So maybe it's just me. Uh, but I feel like what is happening all over the planet with the water? Well, I should say all over the United States more specifically, because we ain't never had to deal with this. It's just showing you, in my opinion, the effects of um, global warming. Um, it shows you the extent of our rotting infrastructure. Infrastructure. It shows you the unwillingness for. Republican-led uh, states, the governors of these states, are so hell-bent on greed. So we're not going to blame the mayors, okay, because they don't handle the money coming into the state. That's the governor's responsibility. So when you have all these corrupt individuals that is respect should be responsible for all constituents and all people. They have a, an agenda when they get in there and their basic uh, fundamental target is to steal as much money as they possibly can. Now, I know that sounds terrible. And the thing about it is when you look at how they orchestrated the world the way we have it at this point, you can see who they don't care about. Same thing with Katrina. Over, what, 20 years ago, 17 years ago? They, the way they had, they got those levies. You know, New Orleans and 
is like a, like a bowl. But all those weak areas, like the Ninth Ward, they, they had that structure that whenever a hurricane or something bad happens, go down and wipe out the black areas. The areas, those are the people that we care least about. Okay, those are our casualties of war. In fact, y'all know the story when you had people even going across the bridge trying to go over to Texas and being shot uh, on the bridge. People in paramilitary and in just regular civilian clothing would not let people cross over the bridge. Instead, they were shooting shooting them down and calling them refugees. And these were our fellow Americans. So what they do is we can say it's bad enough, but if we was to lose any semblance of democracy and have a king, we'll be getting gasoline in jars like they do in some African countries. It'll get worse and worse and worse. So what brought me to this story is the toxic arsenic levels that make the tap water unsafe for thousands in New York City. Thousands. Dangerous levels of arsenic were found in a New York City public housing authority. Leaving thousands, I mean complex, leaving thousands of affected residents without safe tap water. The crisis plays out as people in the predominantly black city of Jackson, Mississippi, have gone without clean drinking water for more than a month now. Now, y'all know what happened in Flint. Y'all have to keep this stuff in the forefront because if you don't care about what happens to people that look like you. In fact, you this is where it first should start if you don't care about things that are happening to people that look like you, then you are a waste of time anyway. So it's only matter it's only a matter of time for you. But if you are a person that loves who, who humanity, regardless of if you belong to a clan or not, then you should know that what is playing out is the most diab one of the most diabolical schemes that again the people in power are inflicting upon uh, regular citizens. The crisis plays out as people in the predominantly black city of Jackson, Mississippi, again, have gone through this for about a month now. With residents using bottled water for everyday everyday needs like cooking and brushing their teeth. Residents of New York City's Jacob Riz house houses, one of the largest public complex in Manhattan have had, not had safe drinking water for more than a week after arsenic levels above federal standards were found in the building's water supply. Now, as of Monday, tenants were told to continue avoiding using the tap water as officials await additional test results, though most recent testing over the weekend found no arsenic in the complex water supply. NBC New York reported. Uh, the New York City Housing Authority has been handling, handing out bottles of water to the residents in wake of the test results, but many have condemned the agency for failing to inform the residents of potentially contaminated water supply. Tap, well, we've been telling y'all to stack your water. Stack your water. Tap water in the complex, which contains 19 buildings and has more than 3,700 residents, 
was first tested by the New York City Housing Authority in August after several complaints from residents about cloudy brown looking water. But as first reported by New York-based publication, the city, residents were only informed of the arsenic contamination last Friday. Despite officials knowing about the test results at least two weeks earlier. We don't drink their water, said Rias resident Melina Barbosa, who told city that tenants had not, had not been told about the water issue. It kind of smells. When they turn it off and it comes back on, it's brown. Last Friday, in the late evening, New York City Housing Authority informed the city that New York mayor would be handing out bottles of water. The mayor would be handing out bottles to the residents in the complex, but would not be responding to any questions. I know he won't. What are you going to say? What are you going to say? Now, especially these old cities like New York, Philadelphia, this, I mean, hell, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, some of us that are, uh, but we're not, you know, as old as maybe those cities, but of course, there's going to be terrible infrastructure problems. Look what happened in Minnesota when the bridge collapsed. And there was people actually driving on that damn thing when it collapsed. Do y'all understand that? A spokesman for Adams also confirmed the positive test result in a subsequent statement to the city. The mayor's spokesperson wrote, Preliminary results received today from retesting showed arsenic levels higher than the federal standards for drinking water. And while there is no evidence linking the cloudy water, the city has taken immediate action, including providing support and drinking water to every household at Rias while we conduct additional testing. Well, you think? You think you owe the people something? An investigation is being conducted on how Rhea's complex water supply became contaminated in the first damn place. And the, uh, the housing authority has been instructed to keep all paper documents connected to the arson investigation concealed under wraps. The city reported. Exposure to arsenic has been linked to several types of cancer and lower IQ scores in children. That's why they in all these houses with these land abatement passes that let them get the lead out your house. And all that lead pipe. And then they act like they're doing the people a favor. They don't tell them when they know there's problems coming up on the horizon. And people got to take the responsibility to be more diligent. Looking out for their own survival as well. The agency was under a, a U.S. Justice Department investigation in 2016 about the health and safety of its building developments, including elevated lead levels in the blood of its residents. And it is currently under the oversight of a federal monitor. Now, the current issues in Jackson and with the a New York City Housing Authority water system farm a uh, Larger infrastructure problem plaguing much of America's drinking water infrastructure, particularly in marginalized communities. 
For the longest time, I've been experiencing dirty water. And now we got to a point where we ain't got no water, said 30-year-old Jackson resident Kendrick Hart. Damn, damn, damn. We are suffering. See what I'm saying? Here we go. And this is going to happen all over America until we demand better. It's we the people. It's not we the 1% that's running all of us. It's we the people. And we better get a grip. We were the first case of the cryptosporidium maybe 30 or 40, 35 years ago. And with that being said, a lot of us stopped having drinking tap water since then up here in the Midwest. I know we've had a Culligan Man or, uh, you know, bottled water. Ascension or whatever it is that you drink. And this has been going on at least for the last 35, 40 years. As far as I can remember. Because we had the first and one of the worst cases of cryptosporidium. I had friends who went blind. Uh, people, I knew people who died. Some people that I, that listen to me right now can bear witness. I hope they put a comment in the comments. Uh, you know, comment section. But we had it real bad. Racing, Lloyd, Milwaukee, that damn cryptosporidium. So, the infrastructure problems have been ongoing and they have been not addressed for decades. For decades. But somebody got that money. And somebody's making sure that they keep uh, control of where the money is dispersed. So tell me what y'all think, y'all, about this, this toxic level of, of uh, water in New York City. And what do y'all think about this? And do you, where, where you live at, do you have um, any problems with you know, the water, are you guys under any type of restriction? I know uh, one of my uh, listeners, subscribers from California was telling me <coughs> they can their, their water is being rationed. So I'd like to um, hear some of y'all give me some information. Let me know, you know, what's going on in your town. Are you guys, or have you been drinking like a tap water like most of us here? In, uh, I mean, bottle of water or have a water man come out or have filters on and especially like I said in the Midwest how many of y'all water supply and water um, you know you know there's been changes to your water and to your water consumption it's just been all the way different and how long has it been different? I'm just curious. So, leave a comment below if you like what you hear. Subscribe, share the channel. And um, I want to encourage y'all to go, again, join the channel. When you see the join buttons up, uh, join us on Patreon for $5.00. You can get privy now to the info, stuff I can't say on YouTube without being censored. I can speak freely and know that you can respond freely without being demonetized. Okay? So, look below. If you want to donate to the channel, all that information is below as well. So, I thank you for listening, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye. Check your water. <laughs>